In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use this OLED display with the micro bit and the REKA bit expansion board. So you can see I've plugged it into the connection on the far right here, the 2IC connector. Um, it needs to go in that one. So we'll plug that in um, and then let's go to the Make It Code website and look at how to program it. So here on the website, we have to download an extension. So click on extensions and we want OLED. Um, 12864. Oops. That's the one. 12864. So it's got to be one word. That's the number of pixels on the display. So you want this extension. And after we add that, we have options here. So we want to on start initiate the OLED display with an address of 60. That's right, so leave that as it is. And then we can look at um, what to display on there. So really we've got show number and show string as the ones we're going to explore today. Otherwise you can draw rectangles and, and lines. But let's start with show string. So let's show string at the top. Um, so X and Y, zero, zero is the top left hand side. And we'll say hello and we'll leave it at color one. Let's just download that and check that it works. There you go, easy as that. We're displaying on our LED screen. Okay, so say we want to maybe show something a little more interesting. We could set our text at the top to say maybe light level. Okay, and then under that, let's show a number. And from our inputs, let's go and get light level. And so we're going to show number light level. If I leave it like this, the light level and the word light level are both going to be on the top line. Um, they'll overlap, we can't have that. So we're going to put um, the light level number onto Y2 and we'll download that. There you go, you can see a real time update of the light level. If I cover up the micro bit, the light level will go down. So displaying data on the, the micro bit, quite easy. So you can kind of get creative with how to use this, right? Maybe instead of on forever, I want to have on button A, I'm going to show the light level. And then if I duplicate this for on button B, I could show something else. What other inputs have we got? Maybe temperature. So if I put temperature in here instead and label this as temp. Now, if I download this, let me show you there's a slight problem in that light level works fine but it doesn't clear the screen so there's kind of some weird pixels up here it says temp it actually works out okay because the word level stays even though i just typed in temp really we need to clear the screen for like first so if i find clear screen and i put that at the top of both of these it will ensure that my my words don't overlap That should work a little better. Light level, temperature level. So this just checks once. Instead of giving a real-time reading, it will change every time I push the button, provided the light is changing. So that might be more useful to you. Um, or maybe one last thing we could look at. We could create a loop like we did in forever. Um, and we'll get rid of these inputs because I know button A and button B are very um, highly valued. You want them for lots of different things. So if we showed light level, we just need to put in some pauses. So we're going to show light level for one second, and then we're going to show temperature for um, one second as well by putting in a pause here. So now it should automatically scroll through light level and temperature for me and it will kind of update every second. So 
there's a bunch of different ways that you could use the OLED screen with your micro bit.